VIP section through um, superpowers, uh, espionage, and time travel. Thanks so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Oh, Okay, I was so happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me and to so many others. I shouldn't be texting right now. Uh, Chloe's running around with a gun to go shoot Nathan. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought me some by, by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call him as call me as soon as you can. Nathan is the vortex clock. So his ass has to be here tonight. Should I sit? Makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. Let's sit for a little bit. Even though it doesn't make any sense. Kate almost dead. Focus. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now. I would just sit here and watch for a while. Uh, but then but you'll I have die. to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <coughs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Alright, I think we can go. Probably. Yeah. Get up. And let's just rewind time so we never sat. Hurry it up. We don't have we don't need to watch it all day. Um, hey, I heard that Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge board or something. The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. Yes, but can he do? I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yeah, that would be I can't wicked. believe you uh, showed up. Why didn't you I'm tell fine. me? We could have dressed up uh, together. Uh, As you can tell by my outfit, yeah. I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. Uh, I wish I could. Trevor trying to bust a move. Um, end of the world. How's the end of the world going? Great. This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs Why is help, that? but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich and rich and a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I was thinking about it. Nathan Prescott's probably not here at all because he's probably afraid to show his face because he's got pummeled so badly. Um, I'm sure he's not looking good. Um, speaking of Victoria, huh? Okay, I guess. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you <laughs> off. Go Good fuck luck yourself, with that. Dude, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. <laughs> Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Nathan. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. 
It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. You're the one who got suspended, Max. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. So I'm not the only problem child here. This is bigger than a problem child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Great. Let's just be nice and get out of here. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, probably it's, true. it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon -esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually <laughs> hope so, Victoria. What? Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from me and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time, and I nice. have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Wow. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. I have one over Victoria. That was unexpected. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria. I'm glad I learned her. I hope she's okay. Oh good, Chloe's here. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Um, yeah. I can always rewind time after I speak to after I speak to Taylor. So let's just do this stuff. Max, where did you go, girl? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. He's been getting like too buggy. I'm scared. Victoria might know. 
How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creep. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in a vortex club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dosed at the last Vortex Club party by Nathan, so you should avoid any drink here tonight. But trust me, I won't even drink my own water when Nathan is around now. He's a pharmacy simulator. I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody wants her. But you're not doing anything either. Um, I think back here is just the other side. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, on the other side, of this, this this curtain is just the stuff that I already found. So yeah, let's get out of here. Oxygen kit. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody needs you. All right, let's get out of here. Oh good, Chloe's here. We have a party. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. You had the shit kicked out of him. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide him. So, oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. But I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah. I just had this crazy idea that maybe Mr. Jefferson is Sean Prescott. Like, that's why he was like on the phone, he was like, you keep you, you keep saying my real name when you call me or whatever. And because he has, obviously Sean Prescott has something to hide. So maybe somehow Mr. Jefferson is Sean Prescott. But I don't know how that would even be possible. But um, I don't know, it's just my crazy idea. So Mr. Jefferson is secretly Nathan's father. And um, and Sean Prescott had to like hide and change his face and become a famous photographer. N no, that's making any sense. Never mind. That makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio. I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Probably going to be Victoria. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. Or maybe somebody entered a as photo. As far as I'm concerned, Chloe's you're behalf. all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. Aww. And the winner is. I mean, on oh my. Max's behalf. What a shocker. Victoria Chase. Right. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. 
Victoria <laughs> won. Big surprise. <laughs> I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. <laughs> yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Thank Me you, too. Chloe. Let's go check out the dormitories. I don't know if there was some way that I could have um, been in the. Um, he says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. And been the everyday hero. Shit. Winner. But uh. We have cares? to go to the junkyard right now. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Yeah. Uh, what are you waiting for? Move it. I can't control her right now. Oh, there we go. Now I'm in charge. Um, save your clip. <laughs> 